This is Braggin's Adventures. Hey everybody, it's Andrew with Braggin's Adventures taking over this week's quick stop video so that we can take a moment and say goodbye to the Tropicana in Las Vegas, Nevada. For those of you that are unaware, the Tropicana is scheduled for demolition to make room for a new baseball stadium on that southeast corner of the Strip. It is actually scheduled to close to the public on April 2nd of this year. That's only five days away. So if you want to go say your goodbyes, you're going to have to be really quick about it. Now, we had the pleasure of going in there this week to check it out and relive some of the fond memories we have of years gone by. I stayed here often as a child. I have great memories of the Tropicana, especially the pool area. It was, at the time, one of the coolest pools uh, on the Las Vegas Strip. Uh, let's dive a little bit into the Tropicana history and then let's talk about its current state. The Tropicana originally opened on April 4th, 1957, just shy of uh, 67 years before they will be closing. At the time, it was the most expensive resort built on the Strip at a uh, $15 million, which today is a drop in the bucket. It also has the honor of having hosted the longest running show in Vegas history, still. So that show was the uh, topless uh, showgirl review known as Follies Berger. Uh, it ended in 2009 after almost 50 years of running, but no show has ran that long in Vegas. So that is still a record that they hold. When it originally opened, it only had 300 rooms and there were all those low rise bungalow style rooms. They didn't add their first tower until uh, 1979 and then another tower in 1986. Uh, my memories of this spot are mainly based around the pool area and then the, the animals, the wildlife. They had the live birds there and that was blew my mind as a kid. Um, they had the swim up bar and, and swim up like poker or blackjack. And I remember thinking as a kid, I can't wait to do that as an adult. And then I never got a chance to, which is a huge bummer. Um, outside the property today, it looks kind of like they've given up. Whereas inside, it still looks like it's a thriving casino that plans on being open for years to come. Now that makes sense because all the assets inside can be sold off or transferred to other hotels and casinos before the implosion takes place. Whereas outside's obviously just gonna get destroyed in the implosion. So I do believe they just kind of let the outside go. They're letting it do its thing. The pools aren't open obviously, and they're just, nature's kind of taking over and they're just waiting for that explosion to happen. Now it is not gonna happen on April 2nd or even April 3rd. Once it closes to the public on April 2nd, they will begin a 90 day wind down. And what that means is that they will start releasing employees that are no longer needed to help prepare the, uh, the property for the implosion. So uh, here's an example, like a maintenance worker is probably gonna be there the full 90 days. They've gotta turn off water and gas and things like that and prep it for that explosion. But in the meantime, if you get a chance, I highly recommend going and saying goodbye to the workers. They were all very friendly and seemed to be in great spirits. Uh, we'll see what the future brings for this property. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you on the next Braggins Adventures Quick Stop.